Um, being a pop star, by the way, um, and in that industry, I think that did put me off having children at that time because I did know it would be very high profile and I wouldn't really be able to be the mum that I wanted to be, which is why I kind of waited until the band had kind of dispersed and I was just doing things that were a bit more realistic for a mum to do and where I didn't have to leave my children for any long periods of time and all of those things you have to take into consideration. But there is a lot of press attention and especially when you're pregnant and when you have new babies, for some reason they get obsessed. Um, and I think that was the only time in my whole career, and I've been, what, really doing this for like 15 years, like in the public eye, that I ever was in, like bothered by the press attention. Like I've always been like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. But actually when it's on you and you're trying to struggle with a new baby, it's actually not much fun. Like I remember them trying to take pictures of me in like mother care car park and I was like struggling to put the pram in the car and all those things that you, obviously experienced as a new mum and it actually really bothered me that they were like taking pictures of me and my child and he was crying and I was struggling and I was like I think that's where the line is for me I think it's okay when I'm working like I get that but I think that we should probably be left to just be a mum when we're just at home or like yeah taking them to a soft play or whatever I think because I have done shoots with hello with my children and stuff and part of that decision is almost to have that control myself because they're going to take them of them anyway like they took them of me leaving the hospital and I actually I bought that picture back from the paparazzi in order to put my own pictures of my children out because I want that control and I suppose you can't have it both ways in a way some people probably would judge that but like you say what I choose to put out there should be my choice and to sort of haunt like hound somebody like when they're just coming home from the doctors with their little baby who's had their injections, to me is not, is not acceptable. But it is the industry and you just have to kind of try and deal with it as best you can. I've always known that my mum's amazing because, you know, she had four children and she pretty much brought us all up on her own. So I've always thought she was incredible. But since having my own children, I think I just had a, like a newfound respect for what that actually meant, like to bring up four children. I'm like, are you crazy? Like, I can barely manage to. <laughs> and like, I think I just look to her now, obviously, for advice on anything mum related. And I think with my mum, I think she very much led by example like I saw what a grafter she was she always worked full-time she did extra jobs after school you know she was running us all here there and everywhere and that was just instilled in me from watching it Do you know what I mean I think the only way you can really expect your children to learn from you is to show them like how to be and you know that's what I'm hoping that I can do for my boys you know show that you know, I was obviously there for them as a mum, but also that I had to work because, you know, we can't just have all these things without me going out to work. And even today, like, my little boy was a bit confused that I was going to work because I've had so much time off because I've got a baby. And I was like, some mums have to go to work every day. Like, <laughs> you're quite lucky, actually. Um, but, you know, I want him to know that working's not a bad thing. It's sort of, you know, what you have to do. I think everyone after becoming a mum has a bit of a shock as to how hard it actually is because we all see these like glorified versions of being a mum in the media and adverts of like you know cute little babies <laughs> on adverts and then you're like okay <laughs> breastfeeding's not quite like that and uh, my baby doesn't sleep through the night <laughs> and all the realities kick in but in a way I think it makes you the person that you are, like it changes you innately as a human being because you experience all these new things and it just changes you and I think for the better. All mums have an opinion on other mums and what they do with their children and I have never been one of those people to really take on other people's opinions. Chat things out and see what other people are doing but I never really allow myself to be too judged because I think every single baby's different. I know that because I've got two and they're completely different already, you know. So what's right for one might not be right for the other. And I think just be as honest as you can because if you put on a front and pretend everything's like perfect and you're not struggling at all, I think you're just setting yourself up for a fall really. Like I've just always been honest. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever done, being a mum. I remember like a week after I had my son, my mum arrived at my house and I just went, <laughs> like, why didn't, you, why didn't you tell me? Like my sister had been honest, but when it's you, you're like, whoa, 
and then the second one arrives and it's all a bit easier but it's part of the it's part of the deal to go through that I think and the hormones are everywhere and it's just good to be honest and every mum's doing a brilliant job it's just that you know we all have different children <laughs>